हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो एंड कपल ऑफ अपकमिंग वीडियोस आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट नोटिफिकेशन वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन ट्रिगर अ नोटिफिकेशन विच ऑल प्लेसेस वी कैन ट्रिगर अ नोटिफिकेशन राइट इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट विच ऑल प्लेसेस वी कैन trigger a notification and first of all that how we can create a notification in service now these all so many pointers i'll be discussing in this video and upcoming videos as well fine so first let's talk about the agenda that which all uh, topic i'll be covering uh, related to notification there are so many things but i'll be talking about top things that you should know about the notifications right but uh, i'll be not discussing about the flow designer i'll be not discussing about the workflow from there also we can trigger a notification but i will let you know that means from which all places we can trigger a notification this kind of questions will ask by the interviewer as well right so those types of details also i'll be discussing so just bear with me for the entire series of this notification fine so before a starting guys it's my humble request if you have not like and subscribe my channel please do so it's really motivate me to make a video on other topic and if you would like me to make a video on any other topic please leave a comment i will try to make that video as soon as possible fine so let's start guys so first let's talk about the agenda from this notification a small series right so first i'll be talking about the overview of notification like uh, which all places what is the use of notification uh, from where and how we can trigger the notification type of notification what are the type of notifications are there in service now right key concept of service now email notification you just i'll be discussing about the key concept of service now email notification as well fine so uh, next uh, i'll be discussing about email account setup this is the very very important one uh, guys because if you will not set up the email account notification it will not trigger uh, to your mailbox right now right now on uh, not right now uh, in current version of uh, uh, service now they have uh, not given the smtp details that then we will see that how we can set up our smtp details in order to trigger a notification in our pdi fine next i'll be discussing about a step to create a basic uh, email notification so as i uh, mentioned in my every video i i start right from the scratch to the advanced level so i'll be showcasing you that how we can create a simple email notification to trigger to the respective stakeholder right then we will be talking about the notification variables which all out of the box variable we will get uh, uh, from notification that we can utilize during our notification creation email template that is the important features push notification uh, if you are working on the mobile device and you want to um, share uh, kind of message then you can create a push notification right email troubleshooting while creating or uh, updating uh, existing email if you are facing any issue then what kind of general issue you will be getting that i'll be discussing about and then finally i'll be talking about the real time use case implementation right like a trigger a notification when uh, record is inserted or updated that one example i'll be taking email uh, script uh, use case that i'll be using a uh, email script uh, in the email body and uh, we'll be writing our own email script code to trigger that uh, details to the respective uh, users right and uh, wherever we want we can use that uh, email script if it is a generalized way we have written right that we will say then we will see how we can create a notification that will get trigger when event is fired right so that we will see trigger notification from the flow designer this is the important one uh, i'll be discussing this is the use case i have taken so these are the entire topic uh, uh, i'll be discussing in upcoming couple of videos right so first let's talk about uh, without wasting our time 
overview of notification so notification what you understand by notification notification means like a email let's talk about the any application not even service now email is the key feature of any tool right any web web based application if someone has designed they has to design the email notification right so let's say uh, someone has created the request and that request will go for the approval then we have to intimate the uh, approver that yeah one request has been created please approve the request let's say someone has created a procurement module p2p uh, kind of tool then if they are creating a purchase order then uh, approver or the let's say the director who are authorized to approve the purchase order you have to give them the notification right they will not come into the system and they will check the regularly right but they can check the email if to if uh, if you want to get it approved from the uh, CFO of the company then you might have to send the uh, message also right even whatsapp to approve the request right because they will not come regularly on the system so that is the important of the email notification of the any tool right so it's very very important to understand when and how we can trigger the notification right that these notification uh, are triggered when certain action occurred some notification we can trigger that uh, if event occur let's say um record has been inserted or updated on that case we want to uh, trigger a notification that event occurred right so on that case we want to send then uh, we can uh, configure a notification in such a way that when record is inserted or updated we will shoot one email fine so we will see that example live example we will say but hope you understood the not use of the notification right notification mainly used to intimate to a, um, a stakeholder to perform the action fine now let's talk about the next uh, topic that type of notification in service now service now provide a different types of notification to keep user informed right there are many way we can uh, inform the user right to establish the connection uh, sorry con communication between requester and the fulfiller let's say you have submitted the incident then fulfiller has to get uh, intimation that uh, one ticket are there in our queue that we have to pick it up right otherwise sla will um, bridge right so first let's talk about the email notification how we can intimate that we can simply create a email notification so these notification are sent via email and trigger by a specific event or condition right so email notification is the first way that we can configure for a record whenever uh, a specific condition occur or any event fired on that case what we can do we can uh, configure a simple email notification in service now how we will see in the upcoming video but just understand they may ask you that the type of notifications uh, what are the type of notification in service now fine so the example for email notification are sending an email to the assignee when a new task is assigned let's say uh, you are a um, it fulfiller and you are basically a support person from the india right and then if ticket is assigned to you then you have to get the notification right and then you will go to service now and in the email itself you will be having a link after clicking on the link will be redirected to the respective ticket right so this is the very easy way to communicate to the fulfiller that hey one uh, ticket is there in your queue please start working on that if you will not notify to the fulfiller what they will do they will come and check after one hour or two hours so one or two hour got delay right so the second use case like uh, notify the requester when incident is resolved that uh, if you let's say you have created the um, ticket and if your ticket is got resolved you will receive a communication email right so this is how uh, we can use the email notification second one uh, we can use the push notification uh, 
so basically a uh, push notification is to uh, display a alert on the mobile app so if you will configure a email notification then that will not display on your mobile if let's say someone is using a mobile and you want to display a notification for them then you have to configure a push notification in service now right but how that we will see in upcoming with the real time example the example let's take an example in which scenario we will create a push notification let's say alerting approval about a pending approval let's say we have created a request and that is pending for uh, two days or three days then we can create a push notification after two days we can remind them that uh, one request is pending um, for approval right so that way we can define if sla is about to breach on that case let's say sla is 80 percent or 90 percent uh, reached then on that case we can send a push notification right that way we can do fine hope you understood the first one is the email notification simple way which will work on the web for mobile app uh, we can <laughs> sorry guys we can use the push notification the third way to communicate with the uh, users that we can send the sms as well right but for sms configuration you require the third party gateway as well let's say if you are going to integrate with uh, hmm, uh, twilio right twilio is the um, sms gateway provider it's a basically a big company who will provide the sms gateway on that uh, you have to configure in service now and uh, you have to configure the sms notification so once you'll configure and once the event occur then it will trigger a sms to the respective person right so let's say sending sla bridge alert on on call stop right as i said like if it is about to breach or 100 percent breached sla then you can notify via um message right and let's say you have configured a purchase order and that has to be approved today or something like that then you can trigger a um, message instead of email and push notification fine hope you got it like uh, how and the uh, type of notifications uh if interviewer will ask you what types of notifications are there you can just simply say three types uh, are there one is the simple email notification second one is the push notification and third one is the uh, sms notification right now moving on uh let's talk about the key concept the uh, um, key component of server um, email notification right key component means like uh, recipient recipient means like who will receive the communication let's say you have configured the email or push notification or even uh, sms notification then first you have to define your recipients right that who are going to receive this email message or the push notification right so these are the key component that's why we have considered recipient as a key component of email notification the second key component is email content i'll be discussing this with live example don't worry guys but first let's understand please don't skip the video if you want to get the full concept of notification just bear with me not more than uh, one hour in one hour i will try to finish everything in details right so email content email content like what is your body which you are going to deliver right define the subject and uh, email body of that notification it, this is the very very important one if you are not displaying a proper subject and proper message email body then a recipient will uh, might get confused right what is this all about condition when you want to trigger this uh, email right email a script email script is also a key component like uh, sometime we required a complex uh, coding or dynamic uh, data on that case we will be using a email script right event used for notification trigger by custom event let's say you want to trigger a notification when uh, event occur like uh, um, record has been updated right and one event fired in backend and that uh, in your notification you have configured uh, when event is fired 
i know this is going a little bit on high side once i will um, talk about uh, the re um, showcase you the demo then you will understood what i'm talking about the event right so basically we have to register one events in the event registry and we have to uh, fire that event in order to trigger the notification how we will see in with the lab example we have one scenario in terms of events templates uh, yeah templates is another uh, important concept uh, in email notification that uh, whenever uh, a template you understood right like uh, we will define one template and whenever we want in any email notification that we can call and same template will same data or same static uh, um, things will display in the email body right hope you got it i have talked about uh, overview of uh, email notifications right and now in next i'll be uh, discussing about uh, email setup i have already created a blog for this that uh, how you can set up a uh, uh, email account in order to trigger the actual email to your email account uh, that but we will see um, with the practical example right Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.